let us now introduce the ph scale how do you measure the strength of an acid and the base see this can be done by a scale which is called as the ph scale right so ph scale is actually the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution right so uh, this is having the number starting from the zero till 14 huh. so if it is zero so it is highly acidic huh. and here what happens here uh, if you take the middle point and that is neutral which is 7 and uh, basic it is 14 so if you take from the middle point and go towards zero the h plus ion concentration goes on increasing and if you go to the other side the h plus ion concentration goes on decreasing oh which uh, minus ion concentration goes on increasing so anything which has got h plus ions more is acidic and anything which has got oh minus ions in it more it is called as the basic right seven is neutral anything less than 7 acidic anything more than 7 it will be basic clear okay so the strength is actually measured by the ph scale right ph p stands for potence that means strength in german right okay this is how the universal indicator looks this universal indicators is made up of many uh, like organic indicator as well as the laboratorical indicator and the color on the ph scale will tell you how much is the ph of the solution whichever you take it right very easy how do you do it you dip the universal paper in the solution and compare it with all these colors hmm so what will you get you will get get the exact ph of the solution which we have for example if you have the gastric juices the juices which you get it inside the stomach and you take a universal indicator paper in the laboratory dip it into this gastric solution the color of this paper is changing go compare with the colors which is there on the top you can see exactly this color out here matches with this color so the gastric juices is having a ph of 1 now take lemon juice lemon juice is available everywhere you can just make it any time dip it in the juice the universal paper take it out compare with the scale which you have got it is matching with the color number 2 so the juice of lemon has got a ph of 2 now let us take pure water now if you dip this universal paper into it the color is changing to a color which matches with the 7 so the ph of pure water is 7 it is neutral right okay now you take milk of magnesia milk of magnesia is the one jab acidity ho jati na pet mein to mummy pilate hain wohi wala so milk of magnesia is taken in the beaker again dip a universal paper into it color changes and compare it is matching with 10 so ph of milk of magnesia is 10 now take sodium hydroxide solution repeat the experiment and you get the compare the colors you get ph of the sodium hydroxide solution to be 14 are 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 bahut jata basic hai baba so the color changes and you can get the exact value the common substances which you use na un sab ki alag alag ph hoti hai that can be measured very accurately in the laboratory and scientists have done it for you and they have given you certain values let's see how it matches with yours saliva before the meal the ph paper is turning green the ph approximate value of the ph is 7.4 so it is indicating that the saliva is basic but after the meal it turns yellow and the ph value is approximately 5.8 so showing it that khana khane ke baad saliva turns acidic it may destroy your teeth right then you have got lemon juice with the 
pH paper turning orange and the value is 2.5. 2.5 is less than 7 so it is acidic. Then you have got the colorless aerated drink. That means the Sprite vagera. So if you dip it in the pH paper which is dipped into it then it turns green. So showing that approximate pH is 6 so it is acidic. Then you have get carrot juice 5.6 it's more acidic. Coffee it turns yellow so it is 5. Acidic hota hai. tomato juice 4.1 more acidic tap water green 6.9 then you have got NaOH one mole it turns blue so it is basic 13 approximately is the pH value then you have got one mole of HCl it is turning red the pH value is approximately 1 so it is acidic now any solution if you are given and you are given the pH paper and also a paper to compare, you can always find out the pH of that solution, right? Very easily it can be done in the laboratory.